Hello. Tonight technically is Tisha B'Av on the calendar, but we will push off the fast till tomorrow night because of the sanctity of Shabbos. And of course, tomorrow night when we begin the fast, we will be sitting on the floor reading the Book of Lamentations, Echa, which begins with this word Echa, how, and we cry to God, how, how could we have gotten this low with the destruction and devastation that happened to our our people and to Yerushalayim and. Um, this word, Echa, appears two other times in Tanakh. First in Devarim, which is our Parsha Tashavua, and second in Yeshayahu, uh, which we read as the Haftarah this week. Um, so these three times all fall out um, now. And if you look in Devarim, Moshe is recounting the story to the people, and he tells the people that they became really numerous. And he says, um, they became numerous, and Echa es salavadi, how can I alone carry your contentiousness, your burdens, your quarrels? And it's fascinating because we go back to the story that he's talking about in Yitro, when Yitro noticed that it was um, too much for Moshe to bear. And he advises Moshe that he should um, appoint leaders of thousands, hundreds, tens, um, a hierarchy of leaders to go with different problems, depending on how difficult it was um, eventually if they couldn't handle it to go to Moshe. He advises um, Moshe that he should appoint these people and he says appoint people that are Anshe Chayil, your A Elohim, Anshe Emet, Sone Betza. Um, you should appoint people that are God that are men of accomplishment, God fearing people, men of truth, men who despise money. And when we see that Moshe did appoint the people, all it says is that he appointed Anshe Chayil is these men of accomplishment, but it doesn't say that they had fear of God, that they were men of truth, that they hated, um, that they hated bribery. And the Mepharshim tells us that the reason why it doesn't say that is because that Moshe couldn't find these type of leaders. And so if we want to know why in Yeshayahu, why Hashem says, Eicha, how did this happen? How did it turn into, um, into a harlot, he compares um, uh, what, what we've done, is because we've sold out, we've sold our very being. Um, and this is what happens if you're not fearing God, and if you are just pursuing money and instead of pursuing truth, you end up falling so low that you sell your soul, and we end up falling to the depths of depravity. And that's what leads us to saying lamentations as we lose ourselves and we fall so far and we end up with um, the destruction and the devastation of our people and of our land and of our country and um, we cry Echa but when we're crying Echa to God if we want to know the answer to Echa all we have to do is like the answer is look at the first time we find it in the Torah and we find the Echa with Moshe saying I can't find people that are God-fearing. We need God-fearing people, people who love and pursue truth, people who don't um, take bribes, that are honest. And if you couldn't find that, it doesn't matter that he found Anshe Chayel, men of accomplishment. It doesn't matter how good our Chayelim, our, our army, our, our accomplishments, our technology, our advancements, all of that is wonderful, but it means nothing if our character, if our strength of character is lacking, if we don't have the fear of God upon us, if we don't search for truth, if we don't despise falsehood and bribery and just try to do good for our people. If we're going to pursue money, we should pursue money to help the poor and the needy, the Gary, Atom, and Almanah. We, we should help you know, the, the people amongst us that need our help um, and use our justice to help people like the Agunot. So if we want to stop sitting on the floor and crying because we're losing wonderful people every day because we see horrible things happen till this day, we have to answer that call of Echa. We have to um, have this enough fear of God at least to pursue truth and to, to, to despise bribery or anything that, that smells of falsehood or or cheating or, or, or prostituting ourselves out um, and stay away from that and pursue um, goodness and helping the gemilot chasadim of helping one another 
Um, and that is the way we build ourselves up. That is the way we move farther and farther from crying Eicha, is stepping up to the plate um, and, and attaining these qualities of truth, pursuing justice, fearing God, hating falsehood and bribery. So that's what we need to do in order to uh, move forward and not cry Eicha anymore. Shabbat Shalom.